Alright, well here we are today. We're actually not on my farm, we're on another farm today. We're looking at one of the new product range that UHI have, one of their tractors. This is the UHI 454. It's a 45 horsepower tractor. It's just been delivered to the farm here. We're on the banks of the Nepean, just near the uh, Penrith in the western suburbs of Sydney. And we're just going to have a quick walk around today and just have a look at the tractor, talk about a couple of the features. It's just been delivered in the last couple of days so we're interested to have a look at this. I've never actually had a look at a UHI tractor before so it's going to be a bit new to me as well about um, what it is. Um, obviously it's a Chinese made tractor and UHI are well known for their excavators and their wheel loaders and all sorts of other things. The tractor comes standard with a four-in-one bucket and it's quite a large size bucket too. Um, it is removable so you can take this on and off quite quickly. It's got the stands on the side here that allow you to drop on the ground and then the connections all come apart up here at this um, selection here. All these come apart and that whole front end load apart will come up and drop down obviously if you want to take that off. The 4-in-1 bucket has a uh, Euro system on it, so it's got a, um, a quick attach Euro system on it, so you can take the bucket off quite quickly. If you purchase one of these tr tractors, in the basic package you also get the forklift um, attachment for it that uses the same Euro hitch system to attach to the front of the tractor. Alright, there's a shot of the, uh, the engine, 4-cylinder diesel, with the uh, Donaldson type uh, air filter system on the top, which is good. Uh, radiator here, it's got a removable um, screen system there, which can come out and clean, which is good. A electrical cutoff switch on the top of the battery. The engine is a YTO. So that's a Chinese made engine that is in, I believe, uh, a few other manufacturers use the same engine so it's obviously a, a diesel engine. The tyres, so currently on this one we have um, R1 agricultural tyres and, and standard with the wheel weights on the back so that's a, that's a good item and I don't know if you can actually see, I'm just looking at this paint in the sun, it's got like a like a metallic in it. I don't know, can you see that? It's got like a gold and red in the metallic. That's pretty fancy, isn't it? Um, this tractor is a manual select box, so it doesn't have um, hydrostatic. I like this braking system here. So this is split braking, so you can have this locked together so it operates as one brake, or you can separate these and have only one wheel braking at a time, which is great if you're doing very tight turns, you can actually lock the inside wheel and sort of spin around quite quickly, so I quite like that. Roof shade looks nicely made and it goes onto this ROPS, which looks nice and strong. It's good um, box section steel there, looks like it's nice and strong. Goes right down to the, the base there, so I don't think there's a problem with that at all. One thing we've now found out about the, we're just talking about the chassis with James from UHI and he was saying that um, they went back to the manufacturers and got them to put in this extra gusseting to make the chassis uh, stronger for the uh, tractors that are sold on the Australian market so that's certainly a good thing. Just look over the front of the tractor here and you can see that it's got a nice sloping bonnet it's quite a, got a quite a attractive front on it. I quite like tractors that have the lower fronts on them here because when you're sitting up in the operator's platform you can actually look down and actually see the the bucket so I quite like the look of that. This is the diesel fuel tank that's on the side here it's a plastic material it's probably a little bit strange that it's on the side like that I don't think I've seen another one like that but that's probably okay obviously it's easier to uh, to fill good access here on the steps to get into the app, uh, operator's platform. Lots of uh, open area there to have your feet so you're not going to have a problem getting in there. 
And it's always interesting to look at the uh, the back of the tractor and see what's on display here. So one thing you'll notice is this tractor comes standard with two sets of rear remotes. Um, that's a good thing. I like to see those on tractors. I keep going back to the uh, example I have with John Deere, whereas if I got a set of these put on my John Deere tractor, it would cost about $1,300. So this 454 tractor comes with two sets of um, standard rear remotes and it also has a electrical connection which I think is a great idea um, so it's all pre-wired there if you want to put a trailer in the back of it that's all good um, the arms look nice and strong and particularly these these stabiliser arms down here they're a good strong heavy material um, nicely anodised gold too that's pretty fancy isn't it so on the back we have this little tank that's been bolted to this bar and this is basically just for the hydraulic oil that runs down into a separate hose, runs down into there. And originally some of the designs apparently what they used was they used a common oil for the gearbox oil as well as the hydraulic oil but the engineers have now designed something different that they actually have a standalone hydraulic oil tank so this just has hydraulic oil and just powers hydraulic implements separately um, the rear lights here fit quite nicely into that panel so that's one thing I find with a lot of tractors is they have a standalone light that sticks up or are bolted onto the fender and that's one of the things that always seems to get knocked off so I quite like that design how it's fitted into the fender um, LED work lights there okay here we are in the uh, driver's position of the 454 um, the visibility is great out the front big mirrors there which can stay on or can come off um, the steering wheel is uh, adjustable there's a lever down here so you can adjust the reach on this looking at the dash a bit hard to see in the sunshine um, on the left hand side we have a fuel gauge right hand side we have a temperature gauge and then all the um, other information in the middle about uh, battery voltage um, oil pressure running hours uh, this is a control for the front bucket, so that's basically up and down, and this is a 4-in-1 lever. It's mounted to a steel post here that's bolted down to the floor. Now, uh, looking at the control levers here, so this is a manual box. So it's basically uh, four-speed here. It's got a low and a high range. It's also got a diff lock um, activation here. Um, rear arms up and down what's on the other side um, handbrake and speed for the PTO 540 720 speed for the PTO drive it's only a rear PTO on this there's no center PTO um, seat belts and a very very nice seat uh, this lever here is two-wheel drive four-wheel drive Part of the attachments available for these tractors include a backhoe addition which goes obviously on the, the back of the tractor. It has a separate uh, PTO driven hydraulic pump that goes on the back here that drives it. Um, separate seating position here, um, similar controls to an excavator.
Well, that was a lot of fun. I had a good time today playing around with the new UHI 454 tractor. I actually quite like it. It's got a lot of really good features on it. It looks strongly built and the price is really ultra competitive on one of these. I was here today with James from UHI and we were talking about the pricing of these tractors and this is a 45 horsepower tractor but if I can just compare the 25 horsepower model against what I have so the 25 horsepower version of this in the basic package which includes the four-in-one bucket uh, as well as the uh, forks that go on the front and as well as the slasher that goes on the back now I think Currently, this is November 2022. I think UHI are doing this as a package deal for $22,900 for the 25 horsepower package. And I can compare that with some of the other tractors that I know of. So we looked at the TYM 265 tractor a couple of weeks ago, and I know the price of that basic tractor with a four-in-one is $26,900. For a John Deere, 2025R tractor with a four-in-one on the front, then you're probably looking at about 31 to 32,000. So for, you know, I think for bang for bucks, I think dollar-wise, it's uh, it's almost unbeatable. The backhoe that we looked at on the back here, the backhoe looked on the back. That's pretty funny. The backhoe we had a look at here is part of the upgrade package. So you can buy the backhoe, you can buy the auger drive that goes on the back, as well as the grader blade that goes on the back. And that package is about another $5,000, but check with your local dealer. So I was impressed with this. Um, a lot of good things on the tractor that I like. It looks nice and solid and stable. The build quality is good. Um, I really like the metallic paint. It's got that gold fleck in it that's pretty fancy. But overall, I'm very happy with it. Um, thanks UHI for inviting me out to have a, have a look at it today. And if you're interested, contact your local UHI dealer and go and have a look for yourself. Thanks for watching, see you next time.